You love Hot Pot, so does Mikey Chen. His ultimate Hot Pot kit was sold out, but we managed to get our hands on his Hot Pot suit bases. We're gonna be recreating his ultimate Hot Pot kit. Let's, Let's go. do it. Part of hot pot is the sausage. We got almost every single one you could find at a normal shabu shabu hot yes. pot place. Don't forget, Mikey Chen has his own hot pot sauces yes. that we're gonna try with his actual hot pot. This is his hot oil, black bean. This will be my plate for like trying like normal, not mixed stuff. And then for mix, well, we're gonna just do everything. Finally try Mikey Chen's Hot Pot bases. I'm gonna do the Chongqing spice first. I'm gonna do the classic way he does it with the big ass ladle. He goes, that's good broth. <laughs> wow, that's hot. Wow, that's pretty spicy. Ah! Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we got some almond milk. We're chill now. And it's also like the numbing spice and then add the fact that it was hot. Not even like the spice. I'm talking about heat in terms of like the temperature. temperature. It really hits your throat hard. If you like like numbing, painful spice, that one's for you guys. <laughs> Let's try the tomato. Whoa, that's so good. Whoa. Hot pot restaurants, their tomato broth is always watery. This is so rich in tomato. Like slightly acidic, mm -hmm. but thick flavor. I'm gonna go back to Chongqing. <laughs> no, gonna, not me. I want pain. Both hot pot soup bases are very, very flavorful. So I know when we add stuff to it, it's gonna just enhance the soup base. Hot pot is done cooking. Got our little nets to grab stuff. I'm gonna try and find the fish ball. Ooh, I found two. What did you find? I found a single fish ball. His sauce first, yeah? Yes, I'm gonna dip it in the hot oil. Okay, hot oil, Sam. Cheers. Oh man. Whoa, that actually works really well with the hot oil. I've never tasted a fish ball that tasted like that. Right? It's so good. So weird. It's like weirdly good. And that was only the first bite. Whoa, black bean works really well with that. I honestly think his hot oils are just purely for hot pot I now. think so too. Oh my God. Anytime I wear anything white, it always gets dirty. Like everything else would be clean. Oh, look how gorgeous this right? looks, guys. Oh, I heard the licking of the fingers, huh? We're That's licking the know. fingers. And we just picked up these shrimp this morning, so you know they're super fresh, perfect mm -hmm. for hot pot. It's so good. The shrimp is so sweet and it's juicy with the tomatoey hot pot base. It's like spicy garlic shrimp. That's what it tastes like to me. Well, let me tie it with my own sauce now. Look at this brown monstrosity. Wow, that's something. <laughs> Knotted bean curd. Look at that oil. Sheesh. Sheesh. Cheers. Mm. I don't know if it's just like the Chongqing chicken and mm. hot oil, but they pair so perfectly together. One of the things that comes in his ultimate hot pot kit is Spam. Uh, that's unheard of for me. I've never tried that. Alrighty, we've got turkey Spam for us. It's, it's like super floppy now. Yeah, it's not like pan fried Spam, but mm. let's see how it tastes. Whoa. Mmm. The Spam lost a lot of its flavor, so it's not like super salty anymore. Yeah. It just kind of has that texture of like fish ball. It's a meat fish ball. <laughs> it has like the spam flavor. It's just like dialed down to like a one rather than a ten. It's not my favorite thing that we ate. Still prefer pan fried spam, but this was pretty fun to try. I liked it. What? <gasps> mm. 
And now I'm gonna try it with his hot oil blackened. I can actually taste the difference between which one was soaked in the tomato versus which one was soaked in the Chongqing. Mm -hmm. I think the fish balls work better with the Chongqing spicy broth, mm -hmm. but the chicken works better with the sweet acidic tomato. So there's pup tofu and then there's jumbo pup tofu. And we got the jumbo one, of course. So these things really just soak them up. Yes, sir. Yeah, they are essentially just sponges. It's bigger than my fishnet. Time to burn our tongues. That really just soaks through. I feel like we're just eating different forms of the soup base. We're eating a solid form, a mushy form. And a tofu. And a tofu form. It's so hard to pick it up. How are you picking it up? I just have better chopsticks. No, you don't. Them. You don't. Okay, I got it. I don't have to use the hole to pick it up. <laughs> It's I like good. the crunchiness, but lotus root has no flavor. It's like a firmer potato. I guess, yeah, that's, that's a good <laughs> way of putting it. I would it, not say lotus root is a hot pot essential. But it's still part of the crew. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so this is the dumpling filled with chicken, some scallion, leek. This one definitely doesn't need any sauce. We squeezed it and it's soaked right back in, so we know this is like jam-packed full of the broth. Whoa! This was again one of the items in the Ultimate Hot Pot Kit that honestly was one of my favorites so far. I think we're at the midway point of our hot pot at home experience. It's time for sauce, sauce refill! <laughs> We've got noodles coming up. Oh, pumpkin. I'm excited to try that then. Delicious. That's mm. super al dente and you get so much of that tomato sauce flavor on it. Right now the base tastes a little bit more acidic compared to when we started. And I think it's because it's been cooking for a little while. So just a heads up there. I'm gonna add peanut sauce to my noodles. Oh, look how creamy that is. It kind of looks like a carbonara now. Oh, that looks like a good bite. You have to try it. Mm. You guys have to make your own peanut butter sauce at home. It's so worth it. That's and it's so easy. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't soak up the broth as well as the pumpkin. We got our thick boy noodles. Let's see how these manage to hold up to the sauce. I like mm. this one. It doesn't necessarily soak it up, it coats it. If you're a fan of noodles with a nice bite to it, definitely get these. Quick tip. I just tried the broth again, and it's been like an hour, like two, even two hours since we started, and the broth just got even more rich. Every flavor that we just put in there, like all the veggies, all the meat, flavored it even more. That's probably why the noodles taste so good. Normally, we would put an egg in if the broth wasn't as creamy or as delicious, yeah, but this but one- Yeah, doesn't really need it. Nah, you don't need no. an egg. <laughs> Insert dad joke. It's not potato, it's tomato. Can you tell we're in a food coma? <laughs> that was a crazy ton of food. We definitely overestimated how much we could eat. Yay! Oops. We wanted to sit down with you guys to just talk about why we did this video in the first place. For us, hot pot is really something that like everybody can eat. I always remember seeing like my uncles, my aunts, all my cousins. Right? And it was just like something to get together about. Every single like holiday or big celebration involved hot pot. If you ever get the hot pot, be sure to get his hot oils as well. We'll leave the links for everything below so you guys can try it out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you're gonna try out his hot pot or hot oils too. We'll see you guys on our next food adventure. Bye. Bye.